here is another tumor of skin right here. You can see it's nodular, it's thick, it's ulcerated, it kind of has an irregular edge, but please also notice that it appears like it's cratered. In other words, like it's the top of a volcano in which you have fairly normal skin leading up towards the top of the crater. And then all of this hyperkeratotic hemorrhagic junk or whatever it is appears to be fairly well delineated by the crater. Notice also in this skin there are other uh, hyperkeratotic lesions. Uh, here's a possibly another big one here. But let's deal with this substance here and notice it looks like a crater. Here is a microscopic view. And here is the junk in the middle of the crater. It looks like it's not blood. It's look like it's keratinized material. But here is the little rim or collar or collarette, it's called, of the crater that kind of separates all this junk to be contained within the middle. This lesion is the lesion that is most often confused with squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. This is a keratoacanthoma. It is always or frequently a different differential diagnosis between keratoacanthomas and squamous cell carcinomas. Uh, perhaps you may think the differentiation is important because uh, squamous cell carcinomas are uh, malignant and keratoacanthomas are benign. Well, perhaps, but they have so many other similar features in terms of atypia. Some people would probably just prefer to regard keratoacanthomas as low-grade squamous cell carcinomas because they'll behave the same. They probably won't metastasize. They may be doing some local damage uh, in terms of infiltration. Uh, so some people would like to think of keratoacanthomas as low-grade squamous cell carcinoma, so they don't have to agonizingly try to differentiate between the two. Notice all this red stuff is keratin. Notice that if you look at some of the cells of the keratoacanthoma that invade deeply to the India inked margin here and are totally different from this normal collarette over here, that they do have a significant amount of atypia and if this was the only thing you were looking at, you might very well be tempted to call this a squamous cell carcinoma because it has a lot of nasty looking cells that are dark. Uh, perhaps I could convince you that we could maybe find some not only increased mitotic figures, but perhaps some uh, atypical mitotic figures. Let's see if we could do that. And also notice that we have a squamous pearl in here as well. And also notice that in areas, it looks like these squamous cells are kind of uh, streaming off uh, into the surrounding connective tissue and inflammatory debris, uh, like malignancies do. Uh, here's a mitosis, maybe atypical. Here's a large dark cell. Here's a large malignant looking cell. But the fact is, Carato keratoacanthomas are uh, classically benign. They're not supposed to metastasize. And if they do, you probably made a mistake, and it probably really was a low-grade squamous cell carcinoma. So, nya, 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 you were wrong. Thank you very much.